going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here, fresh out of the shower. I want to talk to you guys a little bit. I'm actually enjoying these face-to-face -face or face-to-screen videos. I, I enjoy letting you guys into my space a little bit more often. And uh, today's video is actually kind of a response video, a very respectful response to a YouTuber who I do respect, uh, Miss K. If you're out there watching the video, Miss K is actually a very good YouTuber, guys. Check out her channel. Uh, it is one of my uh, recommended channels. So if you go to the Beastly Gamer YouTube channel front page, look over to the right, you'll see Miss K. Check out her channel. Lots of gameplay, lots of commentary. She has every console, very much like myself, and she she's hardcore into the gaming. So if you like gaming, you like gaming videos, check out her channel. I made a video yesterday. Uh, a lot of you guys probably saw it about uh, the impending release of Rise of the Tomb Raider for PlayStation 4. Uh, a game that uh, I talked about last year uh, coming to the PS4, and for the last year I've been pretty excited about the potential of what this game could be, uh, the added knickknacks and doodads that would be included in the game, some of the stuff that I found out yesterday. And uh, needless to say, I'm pretty excited about picking this game up. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because I don't know for sure or not, but I feel that it was, it was directed in my direction, a video Miss K made today that, that went up, and I watch her videos, and I'm paraphrasing, uh, actually, but the video was pretty much centered around the fact that certain people have all the consoles and didn't buy Rise of the Tomb Raider on the Xbox One, but is excited about getting it on the PlayStation 4. Uh, and Miss K's terminology is bullshit. You know, you should be a gamer, hardcore, no matter what. And in my opinion, I think I am. But I wanted to clarify a few things as to my reasoning behind the decisions I make when it comes to gaming. First of all, my consoles all have a particular place and they have an order in this house. My Wii U uh, doesn't really get used anymore. I haven't played Smash Brothers in ages and my gamepad is actually my TV remote for my bedroom because my kids lost it. So the Wii U does get some kind of play. The controller actually gets used. My Xbox One is used primarily for exclusive games, games that you can't get anywhere else. Uh, Microsoft exclusives, games like Ori and the Blind Forest, State of Decay. These games, actually, oh, they just appeared right in my hand. Um, Titanfall, uh, games like Halo Master Chief Collection, uh, State of Decay, games like Dead Rising 4, Quantum Break, uh, uh, Halo, fi Halo 5, I said Halo 4. Uh, and games like Orient Blind Forest, games you can't really get anywhere else, are the games that I mostly buy on my Xbox One. My PS4 gets more play than the Xbox One. For all transparency, for people who know me, I play more on the PS4 because the games... Oh, the games that are on the PlayStation 4 are actually... They're, they're more suited and tailored to my gamer taste. The exclusives that come to the PlayStation 4 are more exciting to me than the ones that come to the Xbox One. Sure, Gears of War is, is fun. Uh, sure, Halo is fun, but I can think of games on PlayStation's exclusive lineup that I'd rather play. It all comes down to your taste. So, the question is, why am I buying or considering buying uh, the uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider for PlayStation 4? It's simple. I don't buy multi-platform games on my Xbox One. I really just never do. I got a couple of them as gifts. You know, multi-plats. I got Call of Duty um, uh, for the Xbox One. I got Destiny for the Xbox One. But for the most part, not all games, but for the most part, uh, multi-platform games perform slightly better on the PlayStation 4. This isn't a secret. This isn't something that's a big revelation. Everybody out there knows this. And if you pretend like you don't know it, that's, that's maybe bias on your part. There are exceptions to the rule. Uh, Fallout 4 for the Xbox One performed better than the PlayStation 4 version, to my recollection. And that's one of those uh, anomalies. Um, but for the most part, The Witcher 3, Call of Duty, all these games perform better uh, on the PS4 compared to the Xbox One. When it comes to frame rate, when it comes to resolution, this has been kind of a marring issue on the Xbox side. So, some people might say, Beastly, that's you being biased. Or some people might say, Beastly, that's you having the option. You know, I have the option to buy my multiplats on PS4, which is usually better, or the Xbox One. And... For me, it's an easy choice when it comes to multiplats because for the most part, not every time, but for the most part, multiplats perform slightly better on the PlayStation 4. So it's just an option. Now, th there's no secret here. 
when Tomb Raider and Rise of Tomb Raider was announced a year ago, there it was also announced that it was a timed exclusivity deal. And at that time, I don't even know. I think I may have I may have had my Xbox One at that time. I'm pretty sure I did. But the revelation that it would sooner be or later be coming to the PlayStation 4. And at that time I was buying games galore already. I was like, well, I'll just wait and see what happens with the PS4. $20 cheaper probably has some extra stuff added in and more than likely my thinking it'll perform slightly better than the xbox one so it isn't that uh it, it isn't really a choice to not be a gamer it's just my xbox one plays its role my xbox one is for exclusive games my xbox one is for games that i can't get on you know the playstation 4 or games that you really couldn't get you know on pc these are games that are only on the Xbox, and that's really what my Xbox One is all about for me. When it comes to multi-plats, unless there, I have a lot of friends playing a game on the Xbox One, which most of my friends are on PlayStation 4, I really won't mess with it. So it wasn't really a biased thing, Miss K. Uh, it wasn't, you know, me conniving and thinking, oh, PlayStation 4, yes. I don't buy multi-plats on my Xbox One. I get it on my PlayStation 4 because for the most, most part, I play that more than I do my Xbox One. I do play my Xbox One. I still enjoy playing games on my Xbox One. I still buy games from my, you know, the Xbox store. And, and I'm a gamer all around, but I do spend more time on the PlayStation 4 because it's more of my ecosystem, if that makes any sense. So, you're someone I respect. I really do. I enjoy your content. I think uh, you're a great gamer and you're very passionate about it. And I think we need more of that in the YouTube community. And so, I don't know if your video was, was aimed directly at me or not, uh, but if, if you did have me in mind, or anyone like me who possibly might be thinking the same thing. I want to give you my answer because like you, I like to keep it real. I don't, I don't like to bullshit around myself, you know. And, and as someone who for a long time was balls deep in the PlayStation camp and wouldn't touch the Xbox, I've really come around and uh, done a 180 and I appreciate all the, you know, that Xbox and PlayStation have to offer at this point. But for me, when it comes to my Xbox, it's for exclusives. And hopefully you can understand that. And hopefully you guys do too. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Is it understandable, that point of view, uh, that my Xbox One is for my exclusives? And I, I do my multi-plats mostly on the PlayStation 4. Uh, do you guys understand where I'm coming from? If you do, give a thumbs up. If you don't, you know what to do. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. Uh, definitely share it on your favorite social media sites, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. And tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.